This episode sponsored by Zazzle.com. Let's face it, you love us. Why not use the coupon code EVERYDRINK13 at Zazzle.com and save 10% off $50 or more on awesome shirts, mugs, and accessories you probably don't need but want real bad. Remember code EVERYDRINK13. Welcome to Common Man Cocktails. I'm your host, Derek Somer. What I wanted to do today was I got a set submission by from Jan for what's it, the pa- St. Patrick's Day. And the way it works out, St. Patrick's Brain Day. Brain cramp. Yeah, it was that's bad. The St. Patrick's Day falls on a Thursday. And that means that we only have Tuesday, because we don't release on Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Friday. Right, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday to do those shows. I thought it would be neat to get at least four leprechaun drinks in. So... This drink is called the Mean Leprechaun, one week in advance to get you prepped and get your mind in the right place, and to get yourself some ingredients. We're going to use one and a half ounces of absinthe. That's Green. a lot of absinthe. That's why it's the Mean Leprechaun. Yeah. This is uh, Pernod. It's, let's see what's the percentage. It may not be too bad. <laughs> if they don't tell you, that means it's going to kill you. Uh, I don't know what the alcohol percentage. Ah, 68% alcohol by volume, so that's... Uh, six. What's sixty-eight times two? It's like one hundred and sixty. Come on, help me out. One hundred twenty-six percent. One hundred thirty-six. Fine. One hundred thirty-six percent. One hundred thirty-six. Yeah. Proof. No. Whatever. One hundred thirty-six proof. Three quarters of an ounce of gold slogger. That is where the leprechauns play because it's got gold in it. Yeah, one it's going to be green. It's going to be green. One ounce of simple syrup. Created a few more than an ounces here. We're gonna muddle limes in here. So we've got our little limes here. See, they're green like St. Patrick's Day. And, sorry, inside joke. And the last thing we're gonna do is top it with Mountain Dew. I'm using Diet Mountain Dew because it's got zero calories. And it's it gonna the change the drink, yada, yada, yada. Yes, so there you go. Do I have a measuring? Whoa, water in this one. So let's muddle some limes, shall we? And the limes are muddled without the uh, simple syrup, and it will put that in after. I don't know so why. You just muddle lime. Yep, just get the the lime juices out. Now they're all over your glasses. No, actually they're not. Are they? Better not be. So we got our limes out there. Plus you get them left left in there, so they float around a little bit. I didn't shake this. Uh oh. Uh oh. We're back. This time I have a, a shaker that is cleaned. You know, sometimes you just get distracted. And, you know. So we're going to do our three quarters ounce of Goldschlager. And that will be all that remains of the Goldschlager. But that's okay. So I have another one for next time. So you can continue to submit your Goldschlager recipes for those that like it. I know a couple of people who are like, no, I hate Goldschlager. It's disgusting. Just like that? Yes. Yes. So we got our green absinthe there. I wasn't sure if Pernod was green or white, besides the fact that it's obviously colored green, but sometimes they trick you and it turns kind of white anyway. So I just double-checked. It does come out green. Very light green, but... Nonetheless, it's still green. And I'm guessing this um, one ounce of simple syrup is here to make you forget about the potency that's going to be in this cocktail. Now, absinthe doesn't have an overwhelming alcohol potency if put into the water correctly and loosed and whatever. So there's a chance it won't taste like alcohol, but there's still a good chance it could hurt you in the end. Yeah, but it's still, it's not even that it tastes like alcohol per se, it's that it's overwhelming black licorice. Oh, yeah. No doubt. And to have an ounce and a half of that black licorice is just, I don't know. Obnoxious? Yes. Probably. This is going to be a black licorice tasting drink. Like, we've done other drinks that have, like, a half ounce of absinthe or, you know, a splash or something. And, yeah, but it wasn't bad. 
You don't like I could tolerate it. I'm telling you right now, I'm not gonna tolerate this. <laughs> really? Come on. I can see the gold flakes. The leprechaun's gold. Yep. Carbonate that sucker up. Caffeine at the same time. Looks innocent. You've got floating gold. You've got green. You have everything you need to start an Irish party, including apparently some ground up leprechauns. Now that's just plain mean. With their pot of gold inside. I don't really get anything. How can Actually, that be? it's a little bit, a little bit weird, like cinnamony, foul. <laughs> foul, huh? That's in a chicken. <laughs> it smells yeah, chicken. It's ground up chicken sauce. <laughs> no, I mean, I don't. I mean, you really have to dig your nose into the point where it touches the gold. A little bit of that absinthe smell, but the Mountain Dew, the absinthe, and, and all the weird things going on in here, I don't get that much. So let's go. Okay, well, I'm biased because I like absinthe. I don't know. It's weird. Hold on. I guess you get a lot of absinthe. I'm having a hard time telling because there's a lot of sweetness in here too. Mountain Dew, mm, it's pretty sweet. You know, I think, do you think Mountain Dew sweet, right? Kind of. Yeah. It's just got that, even though it's not car, it's not sugary, it's whatever the heck they use to replace it. You get that, like that citrus, almost like a carbonated bite, underlying taste of, of the absinthe coming in. So at the end of the drink, when it's all said and done and the sweetness starts to subside and you start to kind of get used to it, you get your, you get that like jelly bean, black licorice, fennel, Absinthe, Sambuca, we can go on on that for a while, right? Is your tongue numb? No, but I'll try again. A little bit, but not too much. This does. This is going to be extremely dangerous because, well, you just don't get any alcohol from it. So if people can take the absinthe flavor, I don't think it's very intense. I've had a lot stronger of a drink than this and it might be the specific absinthe I've chosen when I had that I didn't feel that it had a lot of a lot of intense black licorice flavor it has more um I don't know subtle flavors to it if you use like maybe is that the organic Lafay. tasting one we've I, this is the first time I opened it I had it downstairs just to um. lose it to see what color came out then I drank it a little bit um this is going to definitely give you more green I think a little more. Oh no! Herbal. I think I'm thinking of the other bottle, that square bottle. Oh no! Bottle. You're thinking of uh. Yeah, that. Volcare. I think that's earthy. This is yeah, very organic flavored, down to earth flavor, green herbal, lots of herbal qualities. Everyone is probably going to taste a little different, so choose the one you like the most. If you like a good, deep fennel like absinthe, then you won't complain when you put it in this drink because you'll be like, it tastes like what I like, but with Mountain Dew, right? So there you go. That is the mean leprechaun. It will hurt you in the end. That is totally enough for a single person. Uh, an ounce and a half of absinthe is going, goes goes a long way. Real long. Real long. And you'll fall over before you get to the end. So there you go. EverydayDrinkers.tv. Our first drink for Ireland and the St. Patrick's Day and all things green, including our, our lime. Lime green. We're teaching you how to drink.